I think you all can help me. I need your input now. Oops. What do you see when you look at this woman? Uh, one by hand, one by one, please. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. What else? Sorry. You. You. Okay. Cool. What else? Anyone? Don't. Sorry. Yourself. Okay. Anything exciting? No. Well. Okay. Okay. Impossible. Impossible. Ah, impossible, yes. Well, sorry? You don't like the dress. Okay, we'll change it next time. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you have seen a woman uh, who is advertising McDonald's or who is strong enough to hold a PC in one hand or trying to decide between her baby and the PC, or she's a red-haired feminist, or if the pathology increases, I see superwoman, then I have a surprise for you. A rational and observative mind cannot see any of those. You can only see a woman who is holding a PC in one hand and a baby in the other one. She has letter M in her dress. She is wearing red and yellow. Uh, she has red hair and etc. and etc. So what's this? An observation and inference are two different things. It is an observation if everyone on this world looks at the same thing, same picture, same event, sees the same thing and says the same thing. If there is one person who sees something different and says something different, then it is an inference. Okay, let's play a game. Could you please shout which ones are inferences and which ones are observations? There is a woman on the st in the stage, on the stage. Observation or inference? Observation. Really? How do you know? I keep forgetting about that all the time. <laughs> the woman on stage is a successful businesswoman. Excellent, because I'm penniless. <laughs> Working women are more aggressive than housewives. Inference. Inference, cool. Women can give birth, but men cannot. Yay! <laughs> what is this? Good. <laughs> Women's sex organs are different than men. Observation. Cool, we listen to the dynamos. <laughs> Working women don't have enough time to be sufficient mothers. And the list goes on. So what is happening here? Our mental schemas and our minds, which are supported by the society, helps us to be creative with our inferences. And through our mental schemas, we attribute traits to women and men. Women being the soft, caregivers, emotional, and this. These are definitely not the attributes of a truck driver who is decisive, capable breadwinner, and these definitely are not the attributes of a receptionist where the society wants us to see. Uh, how these uh, mental schemas raises change because they are supported every day by our family, friends, politicians, schools, whoever you name it, and mainly media. What can we do to change them? Well, we have to be critical thinkers who can keep questions relentlessly and never stop. And of course, there's one more thing. We should never mix or confuse the woman with red and yellow clothes with the superwoman. I believe we are part of the evolution. If we came here from a fish or a monkey, whatever, I wonder we, where we will end. Uh, but we, women, have to be awake and uh, centered all the time so we can be aware of the suppression on us.
For example, these are some of the companies that I started. See, some of them, and there were more, but you can see them. Because I use lots of resources, even though majority of the women cannot use them. But my mom, even though I started all these companies, my mom used to expect me to clean the table, even if my brother was sitting there, and he had two legs and two feet too. <laughs> yeah. My ex-husband, uh, within our 15 years of marriage, he never used the dishwasher or the washing machine, even though I made more money than him. Uh, our parking lot, there was this guy, and uh, he had a small child, and this small child was helping his dad. Then he took over his dad's parking lot when he grew up, and he also took over his dad's creepy question. Can I park it for you? Of course, it's written here that women cannot park the car. <laughs> when I uh, decided to open the business of my uh, life with my girlfriends, my closest friend said, what, a woman after 40? Well, these are subtle suppressions. Majority of the time, we women are not aware of those because they are subtle. Especially well-established women are not aware of those because they think that they've done it anyway without realizing that they were going through them as well. Hello, sisters, but we are in this together. What we have to do is we have to work hard be centered. I think one uh, thing is missing, but what can I do? Let's see. Okay, yeah, one thing is missing. Uh, we have to be awake, centered, and work hard. That's what we did. We started BFITS. These are small clubs for women only, which has got exercise in it as well as other things. These places serve only women. We grow by franchising only women. We employ only women. Each BFIT has to have activities which adds to the quality of life of women every month, and we are 100% Turkish company. These exercise equipment are very easy to use, very effective. These are small spaces which are not intimidating and very welcoming and also very inexpensive. We are all over Turkey so far. We opened one in Cyprus, one in Germany, and trying to grow elsewhere too. These women have never exercised before in their lives. We have 150,000 women members so far. They never listened to a seminar in their lives. We had 3,890 activities altogether so far. And now they are opening their own clubs, and we have 240 franchisees who are all women. These are our franchisees, our sisters, and this is our <laughs> headquarters. And we work uh, all together, like 30 women in the office, and yes, we can do it. Yeah. We have only one rule in our office, which is to suppose or to assume is strictly prohibited. We have the cortex, right? We don't have to operate from the amygdala. We can always re do research and find what has been said through. So uh, we don't use inferences instead of observations. We, our mental schemas, have been uh, formed in a world where we have been living or listening to the stories of Medusa being punished for being raped by Poseidon. Cinderella's are sweeping the floors. We are not even thanked for vacuuming. Snow Whites are still preparing the tables for the wharfs and not remembering the witch who gave the poisonous apple for power. We are judged by mummism, not to be complete, not to be complete without being a good mom. And most of all, we cry with our bodies through psychosomatic illnesses like headaches and etc. Uh, 
Simone de Beauvoir said something, which is, I guess, most important. Science, she said, science considers characteristics as secondary reactions to our situation. Let's see what's going to happen to our characteristics when we are women positively discriminated by social enterprises like us and governments. And in the meantime, please, please, while we wait for the evolution to take place, beware of the inferences. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.